I need to do is erase you, and then no one will stand in the way of my revolution! I'm going to end this with Susanoo! No, you won't! Kurama and I are gonna stop you! We protect history, and all of our connections with our allies, and everyone else, including... Without a means of changing Sasuke's mind, the situation appeared hopeless. But... What's wrong? Don't tell me you've given up already. Is it really that easy for you two to sever your connection? It isn't. Just like Obito and me, your connection with Sasuke can't be severed that easily. Remember, you didn't just reconnect Kakashi and me. My heart was so hardened. And it wasn't just me. You opened up a lot of other people's hearts as well. Enemies. People surrounded by hatred. People who rejected the other villages. People who were hurting inside. Even the tailed beasts. You were even capable of solving the problems of the world itself. Now, there's only one person left. It should be easy for you to save a stubborn friend, right? Yeah, you'll be fine. Remember that you bear the encouragement of all those people on your shoulders. The connections you've made with your teachers and your peers. The hopes of your friends. If you don't have enough power, then just borrow it from their hands. Because, Naruto, that's all the power that you created. Your heart isn't dead yet. If he's submerging himself in darkness, then just use your hands to pull him back up. And if he tries to shake you off, then scream to wake him up. There's no such thing as a feeling that cannot be conveyed. Everyone believes in you, Naruto. 
you make the impossible possible. Naruto, that's why. You need to get back up already. Don't be afraid to look stupid as you struggle. That is the Naruto we know! You, you can, can do, do it, Naruto. Naruto! Connections don't disappear. You need to hug your fist and stand up again! Keep that fire in your eyes! Let out a roar! Come on! Sasuke's waiting for you! Go to him, Naruto. This is all for your sake. For the sake of the future! For the sake of the friend! Hearing the voices of people he had once bonded with, Naruto rose up again. He would fight for his friends. Enough already! Just let me cut you down! You can't cut your connection to me! Connection this, connection that! Just shut up already! Connections are what make this world such a pain! The stronger the connection, the more it tortures me! And Naruto, my connection to you is the most irritating one of all! Why didn't you just cut me off when I went into the darkness? How could I? You are like a brother to me! So, my body and my heart just act on their own! I just kept thinking, hoping that you wouldn't have to be all alone! You'd be my rival. You were my goal. You always have been. I had nothing, but I built bonds. And then in our missions as Team 7, I kept chasing after you. I wanted to be like you. So, Sasuke, I've never said it before, but I'm happy. Happy I knew you. Naruto, no matter what you say now, I'm not changing my mind. I'm still going to destroy each and every person in the Leaf, including you! Either defeat me and become the hero who saved the village, or fall to me and just be known as a pitiful loser. Those are your only choices. I'm not gonna be a loser, or the hero who defeated you. I won't be either. Why? What do you want? Just like I did before. You're going to lose without ever matching up to me. You know that I'm different from how I was back then, don't you? I won't lose anymore. No, you haven't changed. That's what's irritating me so much. What? You've That's always been the same. That attitude of yours has never changed. Damn it. <laughs> to be just like you. I really admire you. We both do it. Right from the beginning. We never actually said it, but we're friends. So I'm I don't want to give you to a Rochimaru! Why? Why did you go so far from me? Because this is the first bond I've ever had like this. That's why I'll do 
anything I can to stop you. If that's how it is, then I'll just have to sever that bond. If only you weren't here. If only you'd never been born, I... Too bad for you, I've been by your side from the very start. I'm stubborn, remember? I won't give up until you give up! Stuff. Just looking at you pisses me off. Ha, you can't do that, can you? I'm awesome! How petty can you be? You should be ashamed of yourself. Huh, I'm not ashamed at all! You're the one who's always sulking all the time! Just looking at you pisses me off! Huh? You should play more with the rest of us! If you just played with us a little more... Whoa, wait! What am I saying? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Did you just confuse yourself? You really make no sense.
During the course of their exhausting battle and clash of emotions, Naruto and Sasuke both suffered serious injuries. Unable to move, they lay side by side on a riverbank, where Sasuke finally admitted defeat. I'll decide this issue myself, once and for all. How can you decide anything by dying? You might as well live on and help me instead, if you're just gonna do that! What I want to do is cooperate with all the shinobi! Including you, of course. There's no telling when I may stand up to defy you again in the future. You won't do this kind of thing anymore. How can you be sure of that? Don't make me repeat myself! Come on! You're the one who still doesn't get it. Now that I think about it, I guess you always have been surprisingly dense. Shut up, you loser. After that, Naruto and Sasuke dispelled the infinite Tsukuyomi and safely released the ninja imprisoned within it. And that put an end to their long-running feud. Many days passed. By following his own ninja way, Naruto was appointed the seventh Hokage, satisfying the wishes of the people. He then continued to watch over the hidden leaf. And that, for the time being, concludes the tale of Naruto Uzumaki. <laughs>